this is really, a, you know, a, a handbag for our times. Tell me about it. What is it called? What does it do? So it's called the Holster with a D, like a holster, but with a D. Um, I had a call back in April from Professor Hugh Montgomery, who is the chair of, of intensive care of UCL and various other roles as well. And he said that he had um, been working on something to, to help the uh, sort of frontline workers in intensive care, which is a sort of a, a holster that takes all the things they need for their daily work. So their, their glasses, their pens, their coffee money, and indeed now their phones. Um, and because actually with scrubs, of course, things fall out of their pockets and it means that they then can't have their phone with them. And actually that's quite stressful for their everyday life. They can't ring their kids and check in with their parents. So he asked if we could sort of expedite this design idea to have it ready um, for the sort of the peak of the pandemic. So we, uh, we, we redesigned it, made it work and we uh, sampled it and donated 400 to, um, to various ICU units across uh, London and the southeast. Uh, and the great news is it's it's really it's really worked. It's really helped them, I think, and it's it's also good for infection control and all the things that they need when they're working their long shifts. And how did you come up with actually that design? Because I think the professor said that you know he has had all sorts of like safari jackets and pockets and multiple this and that. But you're talking now, you know, doctors, nurses, frontline workers under layers and layers of, of, of you know, PPE when they can get it. And, and how does it actually, how did you come up with that particular design? Well, I mean, there's such a beauty in function and I'm fascinated by, by function and organization. So we listened to what their needs were, where they needed to have their various things. And of course, infection control and, and the various technical specs you needed to um, to maintain you know, safety uh, for them and for the patients. Um, and we designed something very quickly. I think that's the beauty of what's happening right now. People are acting very fast. So things like infection control could have taken possibly months to get through in normal times. And people are coming together and collaborating and, and sort of moving mountains, if, if you like. And so it's really lovely to just jump on this and, and frankly a privilege for us. I mean, I think we all feel, even though we know we're doing our bit by staying home, it feels, uh, it feels quite frustrating. So it's a real privilege to be able to do something that, that helps. And you've, you've produced how many? And I think you're trying to, to get funding to do a lot more, right? Yeah, so we donated 400, and um, they were a great success. We then had the Times, the Sunday Times very kindly have come on board and donated another 1,500. Um, we aim to try and give one to every frontline worker in intensive care in the UK, which is 30,000. We've started a campaign, and we've got today already to 5,000. They're 10 pounds each, obviously no profit, um, and it just really puts a smile on a, on, a, on a nurse's face after a long shift.